Hello, my name is Richard. I'm a PHP programmer and WordPress expert, and I run a company named WP Ask Me, where we provide development services to our clients. At least a few times a month, someone comes to us asking to have a scraper bot created, um, which is a script that looks a lot like this. and normally takes hours upon hours to create. A few months back, I purchased a license to Ubot Studio. It allows me to quickly and easily create a robot that can do just about anything you can imagine on the web. Let me show you how quick and easy I can build a robot to do a search in Google and do a quick scrape. So, I just drop a command and once we get to Google I'll go ahead and run the node get there and now I'm going to type into the search field and the text that I want to type. And so run that node and you see that the beauty salons come up. After that, I'll click the search button. And I'm actually going to wait for element right here and the element that I'll wait for is for this logo to pop up so don't actually do the search until after the logo pops up after that query click and now let's get all of the titles for example now since I want to get all of the titles I'm going to store them into a list. So I'm going to add list to list. So that since there's a list of titles, and this is going to be and the list I'm going to add is a scrape. And what I'm going to scrape titles so now I'm going to add a wait for browser event to make sure that everything is loaded before the list is actually created and let's run it and if we take a look at our debugger we can see that there's 15 items in here all of them are the titles that are organic now the robots that are built can be very dynamic meaning that I can build in fields for you to enter in data so like let's say you wanted to use this same bot for a bunch of different search terms um, instead of typing in the text here what I'll do is add a UE command for text box variable and now I have a variable in a search box here and instead of the static text I'll get rid of that pop the variable in and so now let's run it let's view our debugger clear these variables
And so now, right now search is empty. I'll put and you'll see gas stations is now the value of the search variable. And so let's run it. have our results. Now these results can be stored into a uh, CSV file or text file. Um, the data can be posted onto your website um, regardless of your particular CMS um, because UBOP can click links, fill out form fields, download images, um, submit queries to a database, especially MySQL. Um, and so there's a lot of different options for that. But once your bot is created, you can reuse the bot over and over again. So it's not like, you know, when a programmer hands you a script that looks like this and you can only use it for the purpose it was created for. Um, so I can come under here and compile. And once I compile, let's browse to where I want to put it. Okay, so now that the bot is compiled, I'll go ahead and close this out. So your compiled robot will look a lot like this, um, any of the required um, fields to gather input from you um, for specific commands and things like that would be up here, um, any buttons or anything like that. Um, and basically it just you just use it once it's finished. Um, as mentioned before, it will spit out a CSV, um, a text file. Um, it can post directly into your database um, and then also can post to any you know, CMS or um, online uh, application. So that's all I have for this example. Contact me with any questions.